they're the talented twins treasured by music fans around the world. The Veronicas first shot to stardom more than 16 years ago. Since then, the Brisbane-born beauties have released Hit after Hit. and garnered a huge international following. Now the sisters are back with new music, releasing two albums, Godzilla and Human. Ladies, it's so nice to see you both again. Congratulations on not just one, but two albums. Run me through the double release, it's impressive. When it came time to put together the record, we had so much music over the last few years um, that we're piecing together. And thematically, it really made sense to put it on two albums, not just one. So we did that. We were like, well, what's, there's no rule saying we can't release two. Let's just go for it. I think it's so nice and it's exciting, especially after the year that we've had to have some fresh new music. Run me through the difference between the two albums. So Godzilla is really like the alter ego. The music was very experimental. It was um, our ability to take a little bit more risk and not really follow any genre. Um, so there's like some metal sort of guitar <laughs> stuff in there. We go back to like the Veronica's roots in there. There's a lot of 80s. And it's sort of like, yeah, just this big playground for us. And then Human is our singer-songwriter roots, a lot of our vulnerable stories and, you know, just a place that's almost like a diary. We're sort of old school with the way that we make records. You know, nowadays, the last sort of five, six years of, of how music's changed, people create music and put it out straight away now. Whereas, you know, the old school way was write 100 songs, pick your, you know, favorite 14 and, you know, and then go through each one and, and get the production, the mixing right. And, you know, that's sort of how we still make records. So, you know, we took our 100 songs that we've written over the last few years and like got it down to two albums and have just nurtured them to be thematically and conceptually where we wanted it to sound and, and sonically the Veronica's. Has there been a bit of pressure from fans to do a tour? I mean, for about six waiting. years, yeah. <laughs> They've been waiting for a while, yeah. And the international fans even more so. So it's, we can't wait to get back. We've been missing live music, that personal, personal connection, connection, like the intimate stories. And it's been devastating for the music industry and entertainment industry. And, you know, we've, you know, we would love to see that be supported and, and to be able to come back and, and for people to understand that art is incredibly important. It is a vital part of us as human beings. And, um, you know, we would love to see that's supported by our government. And, you know, we just urge all Australians to continue to really support Australian made music, Australian musicians and Australian artists. And how did you both find the, the lockdown, I guess, being in, in South East Queensland? You had a few of them. Um, the downtime was really, uh, um, a beautiful time for us to really be there with our family, which has been a really important priority for us the last few years. So to, to have that time was actually really a blessing for us. And also just for us to sit down and prioritise getting these albums out. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's you know, you, with any situation like this, you, you have to roll with it and make the most of any situation. So we really did make the most of it. The Veronica's new album, Godzilla, is available now. Human is set to be released next month. Samantha Foxen, Sky News.